Today I'm going to show you a quick unboxing, a little setup of this filter. <clears throat> a lot of people have done unboxing and reviews of the Filto Smart series. What I've noticed in the dozens of videos I've watched of the unboxing of these, including Pond Guru, there's one thing that he's not showing. When people talk about the flow or how it's not the best with these filters, Awazi are very smart. They're very good engineers. They've been making filters for a long time. And there's an aspect of this filter that for some reason nobody shows or talks about. They just gripe about the flow or how it doesn't work properly or, you know, no, no water gets to the media by the heater side, but it does. And I'll show you guys that after a quick unboxing. Let me get this all cleaned up, see why it looks like that. That's it, empty box. I'm wearing a different shirt. Right now is tomorrow. I had this whole thing filmed, this whole section, um, and after when I was editing it, I noticed some things I missed, and I noticed my little test I did wasn't sufficient, so I'm redoing it now. Anyways, um, taking this top off, Every other video almost, I see they tell you to be very careful removing the lid not to damage the heater. Uh, my best advice I can give you, number one tip, would be to just remove the heater first. Get the heater out of there. Now there's zero chance of damaging it. Top off. All right. This is the inside of your filter. Here's your inlet with your strainer. And what I see happen a lot, or at least maybe, maybe I'm wrong and people aren't doing this, but they're just not explaining not to do this because it seems they do this which is leave the strainer inside the sponge and then go to put the lid back on i hope nobody actually does that this strainer needs to be attached to the pump because water isn't tight between these walls in here it'll hit the top of this sponge right here so if this is down in there and when we go to put this on, it can move, it can get pushed down, it can get pushed to the side and not be attached to where it needs to be. Water coming in can hit this sponge, go right over and get sucked right into the filter because there's no seal there. As we're with the strainer on, it can't just go right in the filter. It has to go through the strainer, which is in the sponge. And um, I'm saying that because I also notice a lot of people say these things are sealed in the top, which they aren't. It has these little tiny like lips right here that that does come to that's where it goes but there's no seal there there's no gasket or o-ring or anything so water can get through there um, another good tip is where the inlet comes in like i said where it hits right here a lot of people cut that out which there's dozens of videos already showing that get some of that foam cut out water goes in get more surface area less chance of it going blowing right by so on to the point of this video, which is everybody griping about or complaining about or discrediting almost Owazi with the flow inside the filter. That the water travels the path of least resistance, yes. They say it's going to come down, come over, straight up the middle, through your sponge, and not go through your ceramic media. But that's not true. So what Owazi's done, this is a part also nobody talks about for some reason, nobody looks at the pump in their videos. Um, Pond Guru, who is one of them, who I'm not disrespecting or bashing because I have a lot of respect for him. He obviously knows what he's talking about, especially when it comes to filtration and uh, beneficial bacteria. I just noticed watching his video reviewing this and pimping this filter out that he never even looked at the pump. He never saw these holes right here that are also part of the inlet. But they create a draw on this side where your media is. Because I'll show you, pop this open, it's real simple to do. Another thing that's nice about these filters, you don't need any tools to get them apart and clean the impellers. Um, so these holes right here, I don't know if you can see them, there's a tiny little divot. So this basically seals around the impeller, around the main pump, draws, pushes the water through here, which is the outlet back into your tank. There's a tiny little divot right there. 
and I'm guessing, I'm not a fluid dynamics engineer, I'm guessing that creates the proper amount of vacuum or draw for these holes to create the flow on this side where your media is. And the reason I'm kind of mentioning this and why that's important, because it also goes hand in hand with these ceramic rings that everybody also says are no good. Again, when it comes to the fluid dynamics, I'm sure these were engineered for this exact reason to work properly with this filter. If you replace these, say, with uh, Biomax, a lot of people do, or those plastic balls that have a lot of surface area, they say these don't have as much surface area as they're not porous. Well, imagine these are like a long straw that's just cut into pieces. There's a lot of area and um, openings for the water to get through. So if you actually use these that are provided with the filter for a reason, the path of least resistance is this side of the filter. The sponge is a lot more dense than these rings. So if you have these rings, all these openings, a bunch of cut up straws on this side, you have that little bit of draw, which they purposely engineered, over that media. I would like to imagine there's more flow on this side where that media is, because this is a lot more dense. The water's gonna come down, it's going to come over to both because the whole thing's flooded with water. It's not just in, out. It's flooded with water in there. It's all moving around. This is probably the path of least resistance, actually. Um, I might even reach out to Owazi, email them, get more details about this to make sure I'm right. Um, water's going to come up through here, and it's not just going to get sucked right in either. It's going to get also go back down up to here. This side is going to come up through the sponge. It's, it's just going to be moving all over the place. What I'm saying is these filters work amazing. This side is most likely the path of least resistance if you use the provided ceramic rings it comes with. Now, if you replace these with, say, Biomax, which has a more porous surface area, they aren't hollow like these. So if you pack those in this side, it's going to be more congested over here. The water will not flow as easily on this side. This will become your path of least resistance, so then this won't be getting used. So by replacing the media, not using this how Awazi has set it up to be used, you're going to hurt the filter. You need to use this with what they provided. You could change the sponges or you can add media. Say a lot of people cut this in half and put media underneath it. That's not a bad idea either. Maybe you put Biomax underneath there. But for this to work properly, for this side of the filter to have a path of least resistance, so your um, ceramic rings are growing beneficial bacteria and working properly, you need to use these rings on this side or something similar because this does have a draw on this side of the filter. Let me set something up to show you guys. Okay, so I'm not sure how well this is gonna work or if you even see it. Where's the light? These holes, I'll show you when they're submerged in the water, the flow shooting out here compared to if I barely lift it up, not only can you feel it with your fingers that it's sucking in, I'll show you how much it actually changes the output flow as well. Let me get this plugged in. You can see like that, it's a really strong flow. I can feel these holes, they have suction. If I lift this side up, so there's no suction. So the center is still completely submerged these side holes are now sucking in air that's how strong that helps so i guess i can kind of show you it's almost half so if you're only getting water in the center like there that's the flow get water on the side of little holes that's the flow yeah. these little holes play a very important role in the suction all of those holes are on the media side of the filter okay So there you go. I know that wasn't the most scientific method possible, um, but I hope it did show what an important role and how much draw these holes actually have. By simply removing these, you can see the difference in the height. So I 100% had this entire main inlet submerged and these holes submerged. 100% flow and very strong output. By simply raising this side out of the water, this was still 100% submerged, it cut the flow almost in half. 
So you can see what an important role these holes make. That's how much draw you're getting in this side where your media is. Make sure you use these filters properly and don't just assume this is a dead zone and that this is your main draw because it's not. So anyway, back to yesterday. Okay, if you've made it this far, I truly appreciate it. I'm not trying to bash anybody or discredit anybody. My goal is just to show people what everybody else missed. Um, I've watched probably every video there is of unboxing and reviews or pimping of these specific filters, the whole line, the whole filter smart line, the 100, 200, 300. And it's, it's just, I've known that Owazi wasn't that um, uncaring with their product. I knew there was no way the water just went in and you know did what everybody else said and never hit this media that's why i had to make this video and just for future reference any of the videos i do put out say if i make another review video that's my goal i'm not here to discredit anybody or to do things better i just want to show what others have missed because i know i've bought in products that i've watched every single review on and i get the product and i'm like okay why did nobody mention this so my goal is just to to, to show people everything about it so i'm not going to go full detail of setting this thing up because there's dozens of videos that do that i didn't go full detail of you know setting the filter and the media and the proper flow and all that up because there's dozens of videos that do that i just wanted to show what this filter actually does with those holes going back in that everybody else missed same thing i have a twin star light that uh nobody talks about the adjustability of the legs i got a twin star 600 to fit on my 20 gallon long rimmed tank that there was no information for online that it could fit that. I googled, I YouTubed, I even emailed and reached out to different companies asking, you know, what's the adjustability of those legs? And I just went out on a whim and bought it myself. And it turns out it's a lot more adjustable than the people think. And it did fit on my tank. So I'm just letting you know that that's my goal with this is just to show what was missed, to give uh, quality, honest content. I'm not going to bash anybody or discredit anybody, like I said, just just what people missed. So let's just get this thing back together. And again, I'm not gonna show an entire setup. Um, and I didn't rinse out the ceramic media because I'm actually gonna be using this on, um, from that cleaning video I did, if you saw that, that uh, 15 gallon the Aqua Japan tank. Um, I'm gonna set up a whole new scape in that and that's what this filter is for. I'm just waiting for my CO2 regulator. I'm waiting for my um, CO2 diffuser. I'm waiting for some plants and my light um, that should all be here within the next couple days and then i'll be setting that up and you know putting that tank together i'm really looking forward to that but anyways get this thing together the heater again don't worry about damaging the heater when you're putting this on if your heater's not even in it just put the heater in after there you go that locks in now that's out of the way I guess I can show you that right here. You tighten these all the way down when you're first putting them on. So they're all the way in. So that way when you get your hose on, it's gonna be on farther than that. As you're technically loosening this nut, it's actually tightening onto the nipple, which is what those fittings are called. It's the nipples tightening onto it, which is then in turn, get that out of the way to show you, pinching. See how the hose goes past that little barb, the nipple? It's gonna pinch it around that nipple. That's what gives you that secure connection so it won't pop off or leak. So that would go in there, the hose. That goes inside your tank. That's what a lot of people don't really use these for, is the aesthetics, because these suction cups go on the inside of your tank along with this black connection. Sorry. Apparently my neighbor wanted to start doing some construction right now. Doesn't he know I'm trying to film? Oh. And my dog. Anyway, a lot of people swap these out for glass lily pipes or acrylic, plastic, whatever, for the aesthetics only. I will say, I know for a fact, from my Oazi Biomaster 250 on my 20 gallon long, the factory inlet and outlet, and this is just my opinion, 
perform better than the lily pipes. I had better flow. You could see the strainer actually sucking in more. If food even came close to the strainer, the factory one, it would get just sucked in. I have F-Zone lily pipe, um, inlet and outlet. Stuff will float by and just float right past it. And the outlet doesn't give me the same amount of flow in the tank. And there's no adjustability. The factory inlet, which let me set that up real quick. So this, what some would call ugly little contraption, even with the flow down to minimum, coming out of this, probably because it's smaller, had much better flow in my tank at least than the lily pipe does. My CO2 was getting around more. You could see gunk getting pushed actually back to the inlet of the filter. It would be spraying and my whole tank would be circulating and gunk going right into this strainer. I will admit I've left the glass lily pipes on just because they do look a lot better, but I'm considering putting my factory Owazi engineered outlet and inlet back on just for the fact that the, the my tank seemed to be just filtering better, is what I'm trying to say. Again, not bashing any of the, the aesthetics of it. That is what makes these tanks beautiful. A centerpiece in your home or in your bedroom, like I have a tank on my nightstand, which is actually where the 15 gallon's going. I'm just saying my opinion, well, it's kind of a fact, but the factory outlet inlet outperformed the glass filling pipes. And again, that was with it on minimum. When I had this thing on max, it was too much flow in my tank. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because the glass lily pipes, you don't have that flow control. With the glass lily pipes, you don't have control of the inlet or outlet. It's full blast. It's full inlet, full outlet. It should be blowing around the tank. Now, I understand the design of the lily pipe slows down the water, which is good. But it's not, I don't know if it's the pattern, the, the way it sprays out. It's not giving me the circulation in the tank. The water's coming out of the lily pipe, hitting the wall on the other side, and coming right back down around the front. I have a dead zone right next to the intake. It stuff will, like I said, float right by that intake. Anyway, I'm done with that rant. I'll probably probably cut this out. Um, what I'm saying is, these work well. These work very well. People just opt for glass because of aesthetics, which I understand. I did the same thing. I'm guilty of it too. Anyway. Done with that rant. His little feet, push them in here, push them in here. These stop vibrations and noise, which I don't know for sure, you know, from experience with this filter yet. My Awazi Biomaster 250 has these same exact size little rubbers, and that thing is silent, and it's four times the size of this filter, and that, that filter is silent, so I love it. Um, like I said, you got your heater block off in case you don't want to use it. Pull the heater out, that pops on there. You got your clips, or sorry, suction cups and clips to mount the rest of this, and your heater. So again, I'm not really going to show setting this thing up in the tank, because like I said, I'm waiting. I don't even want to pull the media out of that bag and rinse it off until it's ready to go. Thank you for listening to my rant if you made it this far. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope I pointed out something that nobody else knew or saw a video of. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.